The twinkling starry sky is keeping the astronomical world on tenterhooks. For the first time ever, experts have now succeeded in creating a detailed portrait of a star beyond the Milky Way. To their amazement, the researchers discovered that the remote giant star is surprisingly surrounded by an egg-shaped dust cocoon and that it has much more in common with the stellar colossus Betelgeuse than previously assumed. And yet, we should not forget that the breathtaking star observations of these days are not always recorded only by astronomical professionals, but sometimes also by simple amateur stargazers who then share their unique images with the rest of the world. It doesn't always have to be NASA's high-tech instruments. Because let's be honest, who needs a James Webb telescope when you can have a 13-year-old YouTube clip instead? What may sound a little ironic at first reminds us in the second that it is also possible for us, the average consumer, to marvel at the wondrous structures of the cosmos in their overwhelming details, and conveniently without an astronomer's career. Uploaded by user Android Artisan in September 2011, the telescope image shows us a colorful celestial body that sparkles almost kaleidoscopically. But which object are we actually seeing here in detail? Well, the video of Sirius shows us no less than the brightest star in the entire night sky. Expressed in figures, this means nothing less than that the glowing structure reaches an apparent brightness of minus 1.46 mag. Well, or at least one of the two, because strictly speaking, Sirius is a double star system that consists of a main sequence star of spectral type A1 and a significantly smaller and less luminous white dwarf. But despite its limited dimensions, Sirius B, which is only about the size of the Earth, is of outstanding importance in the world of astronomical research. No wonder, after all, no other white dwarf is as close to the solar system as this one. Consequently, Sirius B is also one of the best studied white dwarfs of all, which has already helped experts to fundamentally describe this very compact type of old star. And yet, observing Sirius B can be extremely tricky at times because, as already mentioned, there is also Sirius A, which literally outshines its modest partner in every conceivable way. Located just 8.7 light years away in the constellation Canis Major, or the Big Dog, we are dealing here with a genuine stellar youngster. While our Sun, as is well known, has already been around for 4.6 billion years, Sirius A first saw the light of the cosmic world only 225 to 250 million years ago. But regardless of age, our central star is clearly beaten by its stellar counterpart. On the one hand, there is the fact that Sirius A is about 2.1 times more massive and 1.7 times larger than the Sun. And on the other hand, it also shines 25 times brighter than our mother star. Why Sirius is sometimes mistaken for a UFO With this radiant background, it's obvious that the luminous king of the night sky was not just added to the star charts yesterday with the help of the most modern telescopes, but actually played an important role even in ancient Egypt. As soon as Sirius first appeared at dawn, the inhabitants of the land of the pharaohs knew that the time of the Nile flood was approaching. But if we now draw a line from ancient times back to the present and remember the YouTube clip, the striking star flashing also comes to mind again. There is no question that this appears particularly impressive in such a close-up, but in fact, it also appears so striking to the naked eye that it repeatedly leads to UFO reports. No joke, in 2022 alone, Sirius was reported 21 times as an inexplicable radio object. But what is the background to this fascinating spectacle? Well, where extraterrestrial spaceships have become obsolete as an explanation, the Earth's atmosphere has to serve instead. Because the starlight actually has to pass through it, but it is refracted. And in the case of a particularly bright star, the optical impression can sometimes arise as if it were sparkling colorfully or even moving. In the case of Sirius, there is also the fact that it does not rise far in the sky. And since it remains relatively low above the horizon, where the air turbulence is even greater, its supposed sparkle is intensified once again. And if you have now been inspired to see the UFO star with your own eyes, we have good news for you. At the beginning of December, Sirius is visible from around 10 p.m. 
and at the end of the month, it even appears in the eastern night sky at around 8 p.m., when you can also observe its flashing color change. The first close-up of an extragalactic star. If you like, Sirius even seems close enough to touch in the old YouTube video. But of course, the world of such fascinating close-ups is not limited to the field of amateur astronomers. Thanks to ever-improving telescopes, it has also been possible for experts to capture some stars and even exoplanets in detail in images in recent years. In this context, what was previously just a bright point of light was transformed into a multifaceted cosmic insight. But unfortunately, such close-up images are usually only obtained from celestial bodies that are both close and large, such as the gigantic Betelgeuse or the world-famous Pole Star. However, when it came to objects that are significantly further away from Earth, researchers were left looking in the dark for a long time. Well, until now. That's because scientists have now, for the first time, been able to photograph a star that is located far outside our Milky Way, and we mean really far. Let us remind ourselves, Sirius is located about 8.7 light years away from our earthly home, and with the knowledge in the back of our minds that a light year is about 9.46 trillion kilometers, we realize that this is a distance of no less than 82.3 trillion kilometers an undoubtedly enormous distance, but one that pales into insignificance when we consider that the star captured on camera is actually 160,000 light years away from us. Known by its scientific name WOH G64, we're dealing here with a red supergiant in the Large Magellanic Cloud that has been the subject of extensive research in the past. Also known as the Behemoth Star, the stellar giant weighs in at an estimated 16 to 22 solar masses, while being around 1,700 times larger than our source of heat and life. Furthermore, the previous observations had already indicated that WOH G64 was expelling enormous amounts of gas and dust from its bloated hull. In detail, such a loss of mass through an intensified stellar wind means nothing more than that the supernova of the red supergiant is approaching. In an astronomical context, the word imminent means that it will probably take between 1,000 and 10,000 years for it to depart from the cosmic stage in a violent explosion. So there is enough time to take one or two snapshots of the aging star. And this is precisely the feat that the team led by Keichi Onaka of Andres Belo University in Chile has now achieved for the first time ever. To do this, the experts used the gravity instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile, with the instrument using data in the near and mid-infrared range for the purpose. And the bottom line was a groundbreaking image that confirmed what had already been suspected. The veiled red supergiant is indeed surrounded by a gigantic dust ring, leaving no doubt that it is approaching the final chapter of its stellar life. At the same time, however, the image also revealed that the dust and gas cocoon has a completely different shape in reality than suggested by earlier models and observations. Surprisingly, it is egg-shaped, and researchers are still puzzling over how this elongated shape came about. One approach is based on the idea that the star ejected the material of its hull unevenly in the course of a particularly large eruption. But the egg shape may also be due to the influence of a previously unknown companion star. The point at which WOH G64 resembles Betelgeuse. And yet, this was by no means the only surprise that the star photo had in store for the experts. In fact, a closer analysis showed that WOH G64 has changed dramatically over the last 10 years, or more precisely, that its near-infrared radiation has increased significantly during this time. The experts explain this fact with the enormous dust masses that have formed around the star during this time, which, intriguingly, also makes WOH G64 reminiscent of Betelgeuse. And while the giant star belonging to the Milky Way has 800 times the diameter and 10,000 times the luminosity of the Sun, its extragalactic counterpart first condenses the ejected material into transparent grains of aluminum oxide and magnesium silicates. Once silicates containing iron have settled on the dust grains, the grains absorb more radiation, which ultimately increases the near-infrared radiation generated by the heated dust, while the actual star appears darker and darker in visible light. 
And here too, the researchers draw a comparison with Betelgeuse, which has also been subject to extreme dips in brightness in the past. In fact, there was even speculation that this was a harbinger of an impending supernova. But now the majority of scientists also attribute this development to the effects of a shroud of dust. However, the case of WOH G64 is somewhat different. The experts emphasize that the supergiant is one of the most extreme known of its kind, and that any drastic change can be a further step towards a supernova. The drastic change in your subscription status will help you never to miss a new video from us again. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now to stay up to date from now on. We'll see you soon.